Hi, I'm Mike Thompson. If you sell on Etsy, I bet you're confused by all the fees, aren't you? Well, I did a lot of looking online to try to find a breakdown of how to read your payment account statement line items, and I couldn't find anything. So I did a lot of uh, math to try to figure this out myself. And so this video is going to explain how to read your payment account line items on Etsy. So I'm going to use a couple of transactions in my Etsy shop to explain a couple of these transactions and what they mean on each line. So let's start here. You can see that I have a zero balance because money just went into my bank. If we follow the transaction for this marker mate, I'll explain each line. The first line's a listing fee. It's a flat 20 cents whenever you list something, no matter what. This is a fee that Etsy gets for operating the site and paying their bills. It's not enough, though, to pay the bills, as we'll soon see. The listing fee has caused the account balance to actually go negative 20 cents for an instant. Each of these transactions occurred on the same date, and it's listed, uh, then it's sold. And as shown by the sale line item here, gross revenue is shown in black on the first column. If you take Etsy payments, which is basically any form of payment that anyone may have, the processing company that Etsy uses charges a fee for that service, as all credit card processors do. Credit cards make money on interest, and on late payments and transaction fees. A credit card company doesn't do the dirty work themselves. That's why there are hundreds of credit card processing companies that have sprung up to do this. The idea is that it's supposed to make it simpler for the buyer, the merchant, and the credit card company. For the convenience, though, of processing a credit card, the processing company charges more than Visa charges them, which is typically a flat rate plus a percentage. In Etsy's case, they pass their processor's fee onto you which uh, is 25 cents plus 3% of the transaction, at least in the United States. So for the 995 marker mate, this is 55 cents, as shown here in red, on the taxes and fees column on the sale line. 3% of 995 is about 30 cents, and 25 cents additional totals 55 cents. Now, Etsy charges 5% of the total sale price, which is the item plus any shipping charges. I currently have my marker mates shipping for free, so 5% of 995 is 49 and 3 quarter cents, or 50, as shown in this transaction line here. And nothing else happens on that line. This is another source of money that Etsy uses to run their business, the 5% cut. Then I had to buy a USPS shipping label so that my marker mate could get to the customer. And that's what this line item here is. And it's fairly clear because it says shipping label right over here. So if you take the revenue and subtract all this, then this is what ends up in the bank. This one's obviously not a big money maker. Now, if there's a transaction that involves something else, like taxes or shipping, then it's a bit more complicated. So let's do that. My coffee gimbal is a list price of $9.95. This one doesn't include free shipping because it's a funny shaped package and I really couldn't afford to include shipping for that price, especially as all these fees begin to stack up. So we start with a zero balance and then go negative, 20 for the listing fee. Now on the sale line, I collect the revenue, which includes the shipping revenue here at $14.64. Now this one has the fees and taxes column showing $0.69, cents, and that came from the credit card processing fee of 3% plus $0.25. times 3% is about $0.44, cents, and an additional $0.25 cent flat rate on top of that gets me $0.69. Cents. So after the revenue and this credit card processing fee, my balance is now $13.75. But then there's this 5% cut that Etsy gets on the item, and this is the next line of 50 cents. It's a $10 item, and so 5% of $10 is 50 cents. Then there's also the 5% fee on shipping, and that's this 23 cent line here. Revenue minus list price was 4.69 shipping, what they charge the customer, and 5% of 4.69 is 23 cents. And so now I'm down to 13.02. Lastly, I have to purchase the postage, which is clearly marked on its own line, luckily, shipping label, and that cost me $2.96, which now leaves me with 1006 that gets sent to my bank. Luckily, Etsy has cut a deal with USPS for cheaper shipping, and I was able to buy the label cheaper than I could at retail if I went into the post office and bought it. So in this transaction, at least, I actually got 11 cents more than I was asking. Woohoo. So let's do this last one here, because this one involves state sales tax, but includes the shipping. So the first line is 9 to 20 cents for listing. Then the transaction fee of 80 cents occurs next. This 80 cents is the 5% of the item sale price, 15.95 uh, times 0.05, 
and that rounds to 80 cents. Sales tax is excluded from this calculation. Now my balance is nine cents a dollar. All these transactions happen instantly, so the order on the screen doesn't really matter. As you'll see, it's a different order than the previous two examples. But anyway, let's go up to the sale line. The list price for my largest marker made is $15.95, and Etsy automatically calculated and collected sales taxes on this of $1.38, which is the difference between the revenue and the list price. And the sales tax rate for this location is about 8.65%. This brings the total revenue to $17.33, as shown here in black. Now, Etsy is taking another $0.77 cents out. But where did this $0.77 cents come from? Well, that is the credit card processing fee of 3% plus 25 cents. However, this is based on the grand total price because that's the amount of money flowing through the credit card processor because that includes the tax. So, 17.33 times 3% is 52 cents plus another 25 is 77 cents. Now, I'm left with 17.33 minus 77 or 16.56. So why does this only show 15.18? because Etsy collects and remits sales tax on our behalf. And so the $1.38 for sales tax went away right here, leaving me with the $15.18. And in the balance column now, that red dollar from the listing and the first transaction are deducted, leaving me with $14.18 black. Lastly, I purchased a shipping label here for $3.18, leaving me with exactly $11. Done. So ultimately, you can charge for shipping or build it into the price. You still have to pay Etsy 5% on both, so it'll either be on one line item or two. But doing this through Etsy is far easier than setting up your own website, uh, setting up a merchant account, and contracting with a credit card processor. Believe me, I've done that before. So just make sure that you set your prices accordingly so that you still make a uh, decent wage after you factor in all these fees. I certainly couldn't find this information anywhere, and I was confused with where all these numbers came from but I finally figured it all out, and I hope this helps you guys understand your Etsy payment account line by line. Go ahead and subscribe if you haven't already. I'm Mike Thompson, and thanks for watching. I really appreciate it.